Hello and welcome back to KT TV. I am KT and today's episode we are going to talk about the full moon that is tomorrow night or late tonight in some places but this full moon energy and how the new moon on the 11th of April this year how that impacts this moon's this full moon's energy as well but I also did a reading like I always like to do and I just got a new deck and I'm so excited so I did my reading a little bit different this time so bear with me i'm still learning my deck so we're gonna explore this this reading together and i'm so excited to share it with you because any kind of guidance that we can get from the universe or the angels and just to help through this journey of life because my goodness we are going through some stuff as a collective consciousness so we will get into this reading here before I start rambling on too much. Here, meow. <laughs> so guys, welcome back. I'm so excited you're here. I have missed posting. I hope I got my technology issues figured out. So bear with me guys. I'm so thankful that you are tuning in. But today's reading and episode basically is about this full moon coming up it is a pink moon it's a super moon and what this energy is going to be like so this energy you're going to need to expect change unexpected events and it's going to be your energy is going to feel more impulsive and more rebellious so just know that those are things to just understand about this energy and why it's coming up and so Stay focused on your home family and relationships. So stay focused on those and be cautious of how you're coming across to people because this energy can be a little intense, especially if it's like rebellious energy. I am a rebel, if you haven't noticed. So <laughs> that energy can be intense sometimes. So expect event like unexpected events expect change change is necessary through life through growth through transition so embrace change you got to know how to adapt and then just this energy like know that it can lead to feelings of anxiety nervousness agitation emotional detachment and relationships um conflict or more like emotionally detached from your relationships really so i definitely feel some of this energy from this new this full moon coming so just to be aware and take notice of it so not to let it control you and make excuses and be like oh it's the full moon no it's to know when these things come up why they're coming up and what we might need to release with this you know because full moons are always really good for releasing energy as well like I like to manifest on new moons so I like to set my intentions to new moons and I like to release with full moons. so I like to burn incense I just burned one I did my meditation and re release a little bit release with the full moon energy so just know that this might you might feel more anxious and irritated through the next cycle of this moon until we get to the new moon because of this energy coming through oh yeah I forget to say and who like duh, it's gonna be a little bit more intense and emotional because we are in Scorpio so Scorpios are <laughs> passionate intense creatures okay I'm a Scorpio okay so I know all about them and we are loyal loving creatures but definitely don't piss us off <laughs> but yeah so this full moon is in Scorpio and you can expect feeling impulsive and change is in the air so 
you're gonna have issues where just to take notice like you're not gonna have issues but like take notice to where the conflict might arise those are the right words so where the contrast or the conflict might arise is where you know work versus home so balancing that or needs versus wants balancing that and then when we aren't balanced in that it creates inner turmoil which then leads to lower energy lower vibrations and feeling anxious anxiety depression uh, out of control things like that so those are lower energies so by taking notice of that you can help maintain your energy because that's what it's about that's what it's about it's not about like oh I'm always freaking on on 10 I always feel fabulous no it's about balancing your energy so when you do have contrast or things don't go quite as you had expected expected them to go, you can still maintain your energy to where you are making present choices and not reacting and making choices out of emotion, which I have done a many a times. So that's why I, you know, everybody is a work in progress and learning. So to not be so reactive and to be more in the present is my point forgot where I was going with all that so let's get back to the topic <laughs> so I have a new tarot deck and it is amazing the nightmare before Christmas tarot deck so I'm excited to incorporate that in today's reading as well so our first card is beautiful angel right here so the angel prince of the east i purify my mind by affirming my worth and honoring my choice for love i think that is a beautiful thing and when i was reading more on this card so it's interesting that this card pulled up because this angel rules over the element of water which this full moon is in scorpio so its element is water so interesting and then um it talks about the psychological functions of feelings, so emotions, so emotional energy. And basically, he helps the mad. He helps the masses. That's easier for me, okay? He helps the masses open and express their feelings because feelings, like I was saying in my last video, if you watch that, feelings should be more looked at as guides to when we're out of sync or out of alignment with where we're trying to propel our life forward you know so when you're feeling lower vibrations look at maybe what you didn't do that day that you would have done a day where you were in higher vibration if that makes sense you know what i mean that's what i started to do i started to look at the days that i felt off compared to the days that i felt on so Sorry, there's like someone walking up to my door. Oh, I know. I bet that is, um, I don't even know what the day is. But anyways, okay. Back, so with this energy, so back on track now. <laughs> you want to increase your emotional strength and your intuition. So those are the things that we need to focus on and really heighten our intuition, really be in tune with ourselves. Best way to do that is to meditate. And I have some amazing meditations in, on this YouTube channel where you can just click on it and you're good to go. They're some of my favorite ones. So definitely stay in tune with your higher self. And for me, meditating is how I do that. And then you're also going to want to be aware of, the, of your subconscious mind and what is coming up, what is coming up through your meditations, because that is how you heal. That's how you know what you still need to heal. So, and it was interesting. One of the cards was to let go of the past, which for me, it keeps coming up. So a hundred percent relate with that. So just be mindful of what your subconscious mind is bringing to the surface because that's how you truly heal it when you give light to it so and then um look at your relationships with a more impartial and balanced approach so 
with the energy being more intense because we are in Scorpio and it's more impulsive and rebellious, these are the moments when if we're having issues with loved ones or relationships, it could be coworkers, it could be friends, it could be lovers, it could be kids, you know, so all of that. So look at your relationships with balance and awareness is important right now through this energy. So again, not to be too emotional. And with that Scorpio energy, I mean, <laughs> Scorpios are emotional creatures as well. So it is all about us and the universe is telling us to harness that energy and use it to create awareness within ourselves so that we can heal it and move on. And the more that we raise our vibrations, the more the planet's vibrational energy raises, and hopefully we can make change in this beautiful, beautiful world and planet, and there is more peace and love and unity, because that would be a beautiful, beautiful planet to live on. So I want that for everyone. So back to the topic. So when you are in disharmony with those relationships that matter and are close to you. That's why it's important to keep a balance there and to understand with this energy, it's going to be more rebellious. So on either side, so like with kids, I, I have a kiddo and he always likes to talk back to me. I'm like, excuse you. But just for me, this resonates as an example uh, to be more aware of maybe he's being more rebellious because of the energy right now. So we need to figure out how to train this rebellion a little bit. And by being aware of your emotion and your intuition and your subconscious mind, that is all going to be very helpful. Those are helpful tools for you to be able to maintain your energy through times of like high stress or anxiety or depression or self-doubt or things like that. So lower vibrations. So this is not the time to make big decisions. So within the next two weeks, this moon cycle, I would say do not make any rash emotional decisions and, you know, trust your instincts and know that with this energy, it can cause your instincts and your intuition to be a little out of out of alignment so it's kind of hard to trust them at this moment but if you stay in line with your true self meditate daily and really connect with oneself that is how we stay in alignment with our true selves and that is how we live in the present moment wisely and earnestly that's why i love 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 meditating i do it daily now pretty much and i definitely see a difference when i don't do it and i just absolutely love it so i want it for everybody but um so that is kind of the new moon energy what to expect there it's gonna really affect um self-doubt and self-esteem too for like Taurus, Scorpios, and Aquarius. Aquarius? Wow. Words are hard. Aquarius. <laughs> so sorry about that for butcher butchering. <laughs> um so yeah, so just know Scorpios, Taurus, and Aquarius, we are gonna have more of the feeling of self-doubt or I don't know I get in my head a lot and I do have feelings of self-doubt so just understand that this energy is out there because of this full moon and this super moon and just the intensity of the change that it's also going to manifest within our lives too so I love that um, be conscious of what you are projecting out to people so I said that a little bit earlier so we do we need to be con cautious conscious not cautious I mean you can be cautious too but we need to be conscious of what we're putting out there because one what you put out there you receive back so you want it to be good like put out good energy receive good energy so be more conscious of what you're putting out to others and that will give you kind of a clue too if you're in vibrational alignment with yourself because when you are 
what you pro like project out, you get back. And when you do that and you're in alignment, it's usually a more positive experience. And that's why we want to try to stay in vibrational alignment. So this full moon is combined. The energy from the new moon on April 11th is also actually helping this this full moon's energy be more positive and give us more courage and more self-awareness. So this energy is going to help balance out, balance because life is all about a balance. It's going to help balance out the kind of rebellious, intense energy of Scorpio, the full moon in Scorpio. So take advantage of this opportunity for growth and it can help you overcome the full moon's limitations. So that's beautiful because this energy is actually helping us to overcome some of the full moon's limitations that are gonna come up and give us these different contrasts. So I thought that was super interesting and it's just good to know these things because when we understand why our emotions are the way they are, that's how we can truly grow from them and understand why they're coming up. And honestly, the moon does Im like impact our emotions. We are mostly water. I'm a water sign, so of course the moon's going to impact me as well. So, I mean, Scorpios are water signs. So emotions are always looked at as, you know, you, you shouldn't have them, stuff them away. At least that's how I was growing up. And really they are guides to let you know when you're in alignment and when you're not in alignment. So when you're feeling lower vibrations, it's just maybe you're not, you know, fully in alignment with who you want to be. So you're feeling a little bit of lower vibrations or life can throw some curveballs, and it is just a balance of man maintaining your energy and choosing to focus on what you can control and not what you can't control. So that is how I truly maintain my vibrational energy because trust me, <laughs> I'm still learning. I went through many years of being a crazy hot-headed mess. So it is a process. Give yourself grace. That's also what I've learned. And to understand more of your universal energies around you, you then understand more about yourself and why you react to certain situations or people or you know why maybe you woke up and had you know a little bit more of an attitude that day you know so when you are more in tune with the universe and the energies within the universe you're more in tune with yourself and then you are more likely to make better like conscious decisions for your life and stay on track with your goals and dreams and your vision so you can manifest the life of your dreams you just have to have a vision, you have to be committed, and you have to let go of the expectations of what other people think your life should be and live your life to how you want to live it. So that is a little bit about this full moon and Scorpio energy. And now I'm gonna get into the reading here. And uh, yes, so I'm super excited about that. And so we will begin. Okay. So just to recap, so we have Prince Angel of the East. So, I'm sorry, fucking dyslexia. It's a bitch. So, the Angel Prince of the East. So, he basically rules over our emotions, helps us with emotional balance, and helps and teaches us that our emotions are healthy. And when we feel and, and listen to our emotions, we then um, are more in tune with our true self, and then we are less likely to judge ourselves and to have more unconditional love for self. So I think that's beautiful that he came up. So that was our angel reading. And then it was uh, for Moonology, this beautiful card in Leo, full moon though. I thought that was interesting because it is a full moon energy. And again, this full moon energy is a little rebellious. It's a little anxious. It's a little you know, unpredictable change is happening. So just understand that that's why the energy is a little bit more intense right now. 
Um, and so this is saying, don't let your pride get in the way. So beautiful. I'm a prideful person. So that resonates with me, but don't let your pride get in the way. And then it's also talking about like self-esteem and this full moon energy as well. And Scorpio is also going to impact self-esteem and self-doubt. So it's interesting that this card came up as well, talking about self-esteem and how it's good to have it, but just don't you know, keep a balance of it. You don't want to be, it, not vanity. It's more self-esteem, confidence, but keep a balanced mindset on that. And then it, it's also bringing in energy that, you know, creative urges should be followed right now, like work your magic. So creative urges should be followed. And then you, when you feel more confident, when you are letting the world see your talents. So again with the self-esteem and our emotions when we hear ourselves feel or, like understand ourselves and we accept ourselves we are healing from our past and judgments from others and embracing unconditional love for self so i think that's beautiful these cards really tie in with each other so i thought that was beautiful beautiful um so yeah self-esteem be confident not cocky embrace and love your faults and love who you are and your gifts that you can bring to the world and start to show those. Everybody has their gifts and that is your creativity. So that is what this card is basically saying is to bring out your creativity and to allow that to express yourself. So I thought that was beautiful. And then we are going to do my new deck. I got a tarot deck and so I'm so excited, but bear with me. I have to kind of research these a little bit more. So we have the six of poison. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's the nightmare before Christmas deck. I love it. So this one is upside down. So let's see what this is talking to us about poison. There you are. So it's upside down. So when it's upside down, it's just something that we need to focus on working on more of. And when it's right side up, that means we're doing good. So keep doing what we're doing. So nostalgia is in the air and it could be clouded by your thinking. So mindset is everything, what you, how you speak to yourself, how your self dialogue, do daily affirmations, daily meditations. It has helped me tremendously. I am like do, been doing it for on and off years now, but really consistently the last nine months and it has changed my life. So I love it. So I love that this is saying that. So that's how you realign yourself. When you are a cloud up in the clouds too much, ground yourself back. And that's what I have found with meditation is to help me ground myself back. So it makes my roots grow a little bit stronger and I'm more clear thinking. So this is what this card is kind of warning us about is we're a little bit cloudy, cloudy vision, cloudy headed right now. So our thoughts aren't clear. So while reminiscing about the past, you can have appreciation for the present. So it's saying to not get so caught up in the past. You can look back at your past and see how far you've come, but don't get so caught up in looking back at it because you can't actually manifest it again if you think about it too much, what you think about manifest. So make sure it's positive in things that you want to manifest. And then keep in mind, it's easy to romanticize past connections and events. Take care and keep wistful thinking based in reality. So stay grounded, again, in your reality. Don't get so caught up in the past of what could have, should have, would have been, you know, and be more in the present is what I'm feeling from this card. So I love, love, love it, love it, staying grounded. So our next card is the Five of Candles. I love these cards. I love all my decks, I'm not gonna lie. I love all my decks. Okay, let's see what this one is. And this one's right side up, so we're doing good with whatever this one's going to tell us here. Sometimes big responsibilities come with big accomplishments. So you're succeeding. That's great. This is beautiful. This is a card saying yes to whatever you are trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to change in your life, whatever you're trying to accomplish. This is a big yes from the universe saying, good job. Keep doing what you're doing. 
um, you're succeeding and that's great. However, it means that it's time to work harder. If you're feeling burdened or overwhelmed, embrace a leadership role and assign the workload to others. You can't, you don't have to do it all yourself. It's so true. It's so true. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed, especially as moms and you just feel like you need to do everything, but there, there are tasks that you can delegate, especially to your kids. Teach them chores and how to help out around the house because it's only going to benefit them in their future. So I love that this card came up. So we're doing great. Keep working hard. A lot of the times when you are on that high vibe and your momentum's going and you're working hard and things are being super successful and then you kind of hit a lull and you think you can slack off and those are the times that you gotta keep working harder you know so i love love this card as well and then we have knight of candles so little wolverine here wolf i love it it was upside down so again we're working on it oop there you are so here the impulsive enthusiasm of the Knight of Candles leads to frustration and chaos. So when you're cloudy headed, you're not focused, which leads to inner turmoil, which leads to inner chaos and then outer chaos. So, yep, I love that this card came up. It's time to, to rein in your wild side and focus your energy on your journey at hand. So focus your energy on your goals, on your dreams and the steps to get there. So don't get so caught up in the chaos and the drama. Just keep focusing on doing you and what you want to do and where you're trying to go. So, and then it says, um, you won't make any progress if you don't pay attention to where you're going. It's so true. And I've said this in my past videos too. You got to have a clear vision. You got to have a clear vision of what you want for your life because that's how the universe gives it back to you. Okay, so what you think about constantly, what you say to yourself constantly, what you believe you deserve, all of that impacts what you perceive your reality to be. So when you have a clear vision, and that's why vision boards are so powerful, when you have a clear vision of where you want your life to go, it's a lot easier to take those daily steps and their steps, their baby steps for a reason, success and building things doesn't just happen overnight you know it takes time it takes patience it takes growth it takes change it takes challenge so all of these things are meant to be part of the journey of the process so embrace the process and continue to do these things that raise your vibration and the more you're in tune with yourself and you're grounded and you got your roots planted the more you know what is good and what's not. So, you know, what's good for your vibe and what's not good for your vibe. So I thought this was a beautiful reading, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. And, you know, take a look outside tonight. It's going to be a beautiful full moon. Full moon in Scorpio to my Scorpio fellow Scorpions. Yes! And, um, you know, if you like my videos and want to see more of them, subscribe below, like if you like, and I will see you in my next video. Peace, love, and namaste. Mm -hmm.